Uh, it feels like I beat Rafa out there. That guy's always been so tricky, and I, uh, that was my first time beating him, and uh, it feels good. I mean, I'm so happy to get through that and be in the finals. Really excited. Why are you so tricky? Uh, you know, he's left-handed, he's crafty, he keeps the ball so low, so I'm hitting the ball at my ankles half the time, so it's tough to be aggressive off, off his shots, and you know, I, it's just a matchup-wise, sometimes you don't match up well against someone, and I, I don't think I match up great against him. So you genuinely forgot the score at match I, point? I honestly did. I thought I was up 4-2 at the end, and I thought it was break point, and I was walk, I broke, I kind of like gave a fist pump, and I was walking <laughs> to the bench, and then... The crowd was a little like too loud for just to break a serve, and I looked up. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I won!" Wow. <laughs> yeah. And you mentioned that you said the last time that happened was 12 years ago. I mean, I don't, I've, I don't even think it's ever happened on me on tour. Occasionally, you might forget, like a, oh, was it 30, 15, or 15, 30? Like you know, in the first set, and you just kind of look at the scoreboard. But sometimes when the scoreboard's way, oh sorry, when it's way up top, you don't look at it. So you just. I think I was just so dialed in because I wanted to beat him so badly because I've never beat him before. So but it's never happened at a, like at a, a point of a, of a game? No, not or... for me, no. <laughs> so next year you're going to put the school for a different place. So I'm going to talk to the tournament director about that. I need, I need it down low so I can always see it. <laughs> Your service points, you won over 80% first serve, second and third set, um, barely six at 10 in the first set. Um, was it just a matter of dialing in your serve? Uh, yeah, just kind of settling in out there. He he broke me in the first set, kind of halfway through, and that kind of maybe rattled me a little bit on the serve. And he's a good returner, so that's tricky as well. But a lot of times when you uh, serving is kind of a rhythm thing, and um, you know it can take you 30 minutes to find that good rhythm, and that's kind of what happened. You've done 11, 13, 21 aces. Keep ascending each match. What can we expect tomorrow? Uh, at least 22. So, <laughs> so we'll see. But I mean, Kay's a great returner, and, and Kevin's a kind of a tall, lengthy guy. So they're they're both kind of difficult to ace. Um, I mean, it's, I'm in the final. It's hard not to it's hard to complain and, and say bad things when you made a final. You know, even if the tournament was horrible, you'd still like it. But uh, it's great. I mean, it's really convenient with the hotel right next door. The venue is, you know, one of the most unique venues all year, and they had a great crowd today, and um, you know the locker room setup is is awesome. So there's, uh, it, it, I think it's great, and and not just for a first year tournament, for any tournament, it, it can match up against a lot of them.